Hello, hello YouTube. This is Crispy coming at you with another video. I'm in sunny Pinckney, Michigan. And actually it's not that sunny right now. It's pretty overcast. You can see our beautiful lake behind us. It's uh, frozen, completely solid. Maybe a little bit of slush on it considering it's been raining the last couple days. I'm here in our sunroom. This is the coldest room in the house. And I've had to put on a sweater and some socks to do this video because it is just way too cold in here. Probably around 50 degrees. And this is indoors. Yeah, it's a good times. But anyway, uh, I'm about to head over to the Hunger Games, see the new Catch and Fire movie. So I just wanted to make this video really quickly. Uh, this video is going to be about something that's near and dear to my heart. So a little bit of a philosophy discussion. And it's going to be on optimism. And specifically, faking it until you make it. Uh, so there are two schools of thought with perspectives. Of course, there's optimism, which is, hey, everything's great. And even when things aren't great, they're still good enough. And if things don't go my way, they'll go my way next time. And even if they don't go my way next time, they'll they'll still be all right in the, the long run. You know, it's a... It's a smiling, you know, everything's okay kind of perspective. And then, of course, there's pessimism, which is glass is half empty, things didn't go my way, you know, things won't go my way, um, I don't have much hope, all that kind of thing. So pessimism is, in my opinion, the easier of the two perspectives to take. And honestly, that's probably the perspective that I take more uh, towards myself than anything else, right? So, like, when it, when it comes to other people, I'm definitely an optimist, right? If, if somebody comes up to me and they say, I'm having trouble doing this or that, or I'm having second thoughts about myself, I'll be the first one to say, well, I don't believe that. I think you're the best around, and I think you can do whatever it takes. And, and I, I always like to talk people up because I do believe in other people. When it comes to myself, though, that's a lot harder to do. And I think for a lot of people, that's a lot harder to do when it comes to themselves, right? Because you have a lot more self-awareness of your own self in any given situation, right? Um, so... There are a lot of situations where even at the time, I'll be thinking I'm doing great. You know, I'll, I'll think I'm coming off well and people are enjoying what I have to say and they're enjoying my company. And then later on, I'll start to question myself and I'll start to think, uh, why did you do that? Or why did you think that was appropriate? Or how did you think that would go over? And just have, start having all these second thoughts and maybe think, you know, oh, well, next time people aren't going to be as receptive to you or you kind of fuck this event up and... And so it gets tough. It gets tough to uh, maintain a positive outlook all the time. But that's where faking it until you make it comes in. Now, um, people have that saying, fake it till you make it. And essentially what that means is if you're having a bad time or you're feeling down or you're not sure of yourself or you're lacking confidence or whatever it is, uh, then just fake what you're missing and eventually it will come to you. And that seems kind of dubious at first. I mean, if you're upset or you're depressed or you're just not feeling it, then how is pretending to be better going to do anything? And that's something that I've struggled with a lot, definitely. Uh, thinking about, you know, if I'm not feeling an event, I've got to fake it. That's not really being true to myself, is it? But I've come to realize that really it's just a matter of perspective, right? Optimism, pessimism, it's just perspectives. And people say, oh, well, realism's a third perspective. But in my opinion, anybody who says they're a realist, they're just being a pessimism while being smug about it. You know, that's, that's all it is. It's just pessimism while being smug about it. Uh, so in my opinion, it's all about perspective. You can take whatever perspective you want. And if you can really fake it and maintain a good perspective over and over and over again, eventually it does become habit. Eventually, those little things that used to trouble you all the time, they don't trouble you so much, right? Eventually, you can say, well, I may have messed this situation up. I may not have come off the best I could. And I may be a big joke, but at least... I'm a big joke that can laugh at myself and have a good time, and then the next time around it won't be so bad. Or the next time around, maybe it'll be the same, but in the long run it won't be so bad, right? And that kind of becomes habit, and I definitely think you can make a lot of progress with it. So in my opinion, optimism is the way to go, even if I'm not always optimistic towards myself, and even if a lot of people usually aren't. I think if you can maintain that, and if you can really believe that things are going to be better for you, that you're not that bad of a person, that people do like you and that there's something there's something about you that there's something about you that's gonna persevere throughout anything then that's a good perspective to have so anyway that's optimism that's my video and I'm sure that when I go and watch this again I'll be like oh what was I thinking why did I say that and, oh this video came out horribly and all that but you know what's going on YouTube so anyway that was me um, so hopefully I can make a video in the next couple days I'll be heading over to Auburn New York so the internet's going to be pretty spotty, but I'd like to keep making this channel happen, and I'm definitely still experimenting with videos, so, you know, did a little comedy bit, uh, did a re review, and I'm getting interrupted, so, yeah, I got to go to this movie. I'll see you guys later.